Hi there, this is Unmesh and today I'm going to show you a super cool way to zoom in and zoom out that will make your work so much more faster. So here we are in Photoshop and suppose you want to remove the blemishes and the best way to do it is by creating a black and white adjustment layer and then taking down the reds. That way you see the blemishes much more clearly. Now how do we usually zoom in? By pressing Ctrl or Command plus and zoom out by pressing Ctrl or Command minus. One other way that we use is by holding the spacebar and the Ctrl or Command together and then drag it to the right to zoom in, drag it to the left to zoom out. But I wish there was a much more easier way to do it and there is actually. All you have to do, go to Edit, Preferences and then Tools. If you're using a Mac that would be Photoshop, Preferences and then Tools. So inside of Tools, there's an option which is usually unchecked by default. Make sure you check that and that is Zoom with Scroll Wheel. I have already checked it. Make sure you check it and hit OK. Now have a look zooming in becomes so much more easier. Suppose you want to fit the canvas to the screen, you would press Ctrl or Command 0. Now if you want to zoom into the left eye, you would move the cursor to the left eye and then just scroll like that and you zoom into the left eye. If you want to zoom out, scroll back. If you want to zoom into the right eye, just move the cursor over there and then zoom in. See, removing blemishes becomes so much more easier. Just move to the blemishes layer and suppose you're working on this area. So you're removing the blemishes over here and you want to zoom out and have a look. You can just scroll back and then you want to move to this area. Just move in. Easy, right? So makes your work easier. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope this video was helpful. And as this was, make sure to give us a like and also do not forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you don't miss any other future tips, tricks and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.